Hi there. At the time of recording this, I'm 93 years old. If you're in your 60s, you've probably experienced a lot. Family, work, the ups and downs of life. You've gathered wisdom and seen the world change before your eyes. But there's always more to learn. I want to share some of the most important lessons I've learned over these many decades. Things I wish someone had told me when I was in my 60s. If I could sit down with my 60-year-old self, here's what I'd say. Life gets quieter as you age. The kids move out, work responsibilities are decreasing, and friends might move away or pass on. You may find yourself alone more often than not. It's tempting to fill that silence with noise, whether it's TV, social media, or other distractions. But the truth is, learning to be alone with your thoughts is one of the greatest skills you can develop. Solitude isn't about feeling lonely. It's about finding peace in your own company. When you can sit with yourself, reflect, and feel content without the need for constant stimulation, you tap into a strength that few people possess. Embrace those quiet moments. They are the times when you get to know yourself on a deeper level. In our fast-paced world, the ability to enjoy solitude is a superpower that brings clarity, peace, and deeper understanding. But this is nothing compared to being ruthless about the company you keep. At this stage in life, your energy is precious. Don't waste it on people who drain you or bring negativity into your life. It might feel harsh to cut ties with certain people, but your peace and happiness are worth it. Surround yourself with those who lift you up, who celebrate your successes, and who offer support during tough times. As you age, friendships may become fewer but more meaningful. Cherish those relationships. And don't be afraid to distance yourself from anyone who doesn't align with the peace you're trying to create. You've earned the right to choose your companions wisely, so protect your energy. Remember, not everyone deserves a place in your life. But there's also something you need to know about worrying less and living more. When I was younger, I worried about everything. Finances, family, health, the future. But as I've grown older, I've realized that worrying never changes anything. It only robs you of today's joy. Worrying doesn't solve problems. It doesn't bring solutions. It just creates stress and anxiety, which take away from the quality of your life. Instead, focus on what you can control and let go of what you can't. Prepare where you can but accept that some things are beyond your control. When you let go of worry, you make room for gratitude, joy, and new experiences. Remember, life is unpredictable, and all you have for certain is this moment. So make the most of it, and don't let worry steal your peace. Now, that's great to hear, right? But wait until you hear about sleep being your best medicine. There's no denying that as you get older, sleep becomes more precious. It's the best and most natural way to recharge and repair your body. Sleep impacts everything. Your mood, your energy levels, your cognitive function. When you don't sleep well, you feel it in every part of your life. Establish a bedtime routine that relaxes you. Whether that's reading a book, taking a warm bath, or practicing deep breathing exercises. Invest in a comfortable bed and pillows and create a sleep environment that is quiet, dark, and cool. Quality sleep is a form of self-care. Prioritizing it will improve every aspect of your health and you'll feel the difference every morning when you wake up refreshed and ready to face the day. But if you thought this was amazing, I really need to talk about focusing on the steps, not just the goal. When you're in your 60s, it's easy to feel like you need to have it all figured out. Your retirement plan, your health, your future goals. But here's the truth. Goals are important, but they're just the destination. The journey is where life happens, 
It's the small daily actions that shape your reality and bring fulfillment. Want to get healthier? Don't just aim for a perfect weight. Focus on eating balanced meals, staying active, and taking care of your body every day. Want to feel more secure financially? Save a little bit every month. Invest in learning about finance and take small steps toward building wealth. The journey is where the magic happens, and it's where you'll find joy. Life is a marathon, not a sprint, so savor each step along the way. And let's not forget about exercise being the best antidepressant. If there's one thing you can do to improve your life, it's to move your body. Exercise is essential for both physical and mental health. You don't have to go to the gym or lift heavy weights. It can be as simple as taking daily walks, practicing yoga, or gardening. Find something that you enjoy. Something that doesn't feel like a chore, but instead feels like a gift to yourself. Physical activity releases endorphins, those feel-good chemicals that boost your mood. Regular movement keeps your body strong, helps maintain your independence, and gives you energy. It's the best and most underutilized antidepressant. No matter your age, movement is life, and it's never too late to start. Your body will thank you. Another great advice of mine is to eat well, because your gut is your second brain. We've all heard the saying, you are what you eat. But as you age, the truth of this statement becomes even more apparent. What you put into your body affects how you feel, not just physically, but mentally, too. Your gut is often called your second brain, and its health affects everything from your mood to your immune system. Avoid processed foods and sugars as much as possible. Instead, focus on a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Drink plenty of water and be mindful of your caffeine and alcohol intake. A healthy gut supports a healthy mind. It's about treating your body like the temple it is. When you eat well, you feel well. And when you feel well, you're able to enjoy life to its fullest. My favorite advice is to treasure your friendships. Friendships become even more important as you age. These relationships are a source of comfort, laughter, and companionship. Friends are the people who share your memories, your joys, and your sorrows. Cherish every moment you have with them. Make time for your friends. Reach out, connect, and let them know they matter to you. Even if life gets busy, or if distance separates you, never underestimate the value of a phone call, a visit, or a simple message. These small gestures keep connections strong and reminds you that you are not alone in this journey. Friends are a gift. Don't take them for granted. As you grow older, friendships often become fewer but more meaningful. Nurture them, and they'll continue to enrich your life. But this was not the end, because there's also something you need to know about your diet being more than just food. Your diet isn't just what you eat. It's everything you consume. It's the books you read the shows you watch, the people you surround yourself with, and the environments you choose to spend time in. Everything you let into your life has an impact on your well-being. If you're constantly consuming negativity, whether it's through the news, social media, or toxic relationships, it will take a toll on you. Be mindful of what you allow into your life. Choose things that uplift you, inspire you, and make you feel good. Surround yourself with people who support and encourage you. Life is too short to fill it with anything less than positivity and joy. Remember, a healthy mind is just as important as a healthy body. Health is wealth, and that saying only becomes truer as you age. Without good health, everything else becomes more challenging. It's not about being perfect or following every health trend. It's about making consistent, small choices that support your well-being. Get regular checkups, listen to your body, and don't ignore symptoms. 
Prioritize your mental health too. Stress, anxiety, and depression can have significant effects on your physical health. Find ways to manage stress, whether it's through exercise, meditation, or hobbies that bring you joy. And remember, health isn't just about avoiding illness. It's about feeling good, having energy, and enjoying life. When you invest in your health, you invest in your future. One of the greatest freedoms you can give yourself is letting go of other people's opinions. You've lived long enough to know that no matter what you do, people will always have something to say. But the only opinion that truly matters is your own. Live according to your values and make choices that align with your happiness. The less you care about other people's opinions, the more peaceful your life becomes. You don't have to justify your choices or seek approval. When you let go of the need for validation, you open up space for true joy and fulfillment. Live for yourself. You've earned that right. But this is nothing compared to saving and spending wisely. Financial freedom isn't about being wealthy. It's about having enough to live life on your own terms. Save a portion of what you earn, even if it's small. Consistent saving builds security over time. And when it comes to spending, prioritize experiences over things. Material possessions may bring temporary satisfaction, but memories last a lifetime. Travel, explore, spend time with loved ones, and invest in activities that bring joy. Your 60s are a time to enjoy the fruits of your labor and create new memories. Be mindful of your finances, but also be generous with yourself when it comes to enriching your life. It's important to know growth doesn't stop in your 60s. In fact, it's a time when you have the freedom to explore and try new things. It's easy to settle into routines, but stepping outside your comfort zone keeps you engaged with life. Whether it's learning a new skill, traveling to a new place, or simply trying something you've never done before, Embrace the discomfort. It's in those moments that you find growth, excitement, and a deeper understanding of yourself. Remember, it's never too late to learn or start something new. Embrace the challenges, because those are the moments when life feels most vibrant. An interesting part of this journey is also about letting go of what no longer serves you. Holding on to anger or grudges only weighs you down. Whether it's against someone else or yourself, holding on to past mistakes or wrongdoings doesn't serve you. Forgive, not because they deserve it, but because you deserve peace. Let go of the past and allow yourself to move forward. Everyone, including you, did the best they could with what they knew at the time. Life is too short to carry unnecessary weight. Forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself. It's about freeing your heart and mind so you can fully enjoy the years ahead. As you move forward with a sense of peace, it's also important to love with an open heart, but to set boundaries for yourself. Love is one of the most powerful forces in life. At this stage, you've likely experienced all kinds of love, romantic, familial, and friendships. Love deeply and openly, but don't forget to protect your heart. Setting boundaries isn't selfish. It's necessary for maintaining peace. As you age, you'll realize that not everyone who enters your life has good intentions. It's okay to say no, to step back, and to protect your energy. Love should be reciprocal, and it's about finding balance. You are worthy of love and respect, and it's up to you to create the space where both can flourish. In addition to protecting your heart, nurturing your mind is just as important. Your mind needs exercise just as much as your body. Learning new things keeps your brain sharp and your life exciting. It could be as simple as reading new books, taking up a hobby, or even learning a new language. In your 60s and beyond, you have the freedom to explore interests that you may not have had time for earlier in life. Learning keeps your mind active and engaged, 
and it's one of the best ways to stay mentally fit. It's never too late to expand your horizons and keep your curiosity alive. Alongside nurturing your mind, treasuring your time becomes increasingly significant. Time is the one thing you can never get back. As you move through your 60s and beyond, you become more aware of how precious time truly is. Spend it wisely. Focus on moments that bring you joy. Surround yourself with loved ones and make time for the things you are passionate about. Don't waste time on negativity, grudges, or regrets. Life may feel like it's moving fast, but when you savor each moment, you realize it's filled with beauty and irreplaceable moments. Time is the most valuable thing you have, so use it wisely. These life lessons have shaped my journey, and I hope they inspire yours. Remember, you're never too old to learn, to change, or to live fully. But this video on the right-hand side is even more helpful for you.